All right, so members of the House of Representatives are facing some big questions as they're back on the Hill today. Speaker Mike Johnson returning from a two-week recess with a target fresh on his back and some complicated hurdles to navigate through. Chief among them is what to do about aid for Ukraine, a move that could determine whether or not a threat to remove him as speaker gets put into motion. That threat now growing even bigger today as Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene wrote a new letter to her colleagues explaining why she filed a motion to vacate Speaker Johnson. Brendan Buck joining me now, former aide to House Speakers Paul Ryan and John Boehner and an MSNBC uh, political analyst. Brendan, as always, it's good to talk to you. You've been in these rooms for these types of conversations, maybe not this direct threat, but these types of conversations, right? How do you balance getting, for instance, what you see as important aid across the finish line um, and yet maintaining your position as Speaker of the House with threats from the likes of Marjorie Taylor Greene? Yeah, uh, you frame it that way. It might, it might literally just be that that simple. Um, I, you know, I've always thought that Marjorie Taylor Greene's threat was about Ukraine. And in this letter, she makes it pretty clear that that's what this is all about. Uh, to a surprising degree, to me, Mike Johnson has been leaning into this idea for for weeks now that the next uh, agenda item in the House is, is aid to Ukraine. Uh, for a long time, he was pretty hard to nail down on, on where he stood on this, but he has made clear um, at this point he thinks it's the right thing to do. Um, and Marjorie Taylor Greene represents the sort of isolationist part of the Republican Party, the Trump part of the party now, uh, that is simply not interested in sending any taxpayer money uh, anywhere, um, and, and certainly not to this, uh, this conflict. So uh, he faces a pretty tough choice. Um, and, but I guess my, where I come down on this is yeah. um, if you are going to save your job, you're probably going to need Democrats to help you. Uh, and he, so his choice is whether he uh, does what he thinks is the right thing, sending money to Ukraine and hoping that Democrats will be there if Marjorie Taylor Greene does this, or walking away and hoping that Marjorie Taylor Greene uh, ultimately uh, keeps this uh, threat in her back pocket. And I just don't know that you can count on that if you're if you're Speaker Johnson. So maybe trying to call her bluff, which she ha she hasn't necessarily been um, bluffing before, I would say. And it really only takes one member of the House um, to raise this motion to vacate. But when you're watching what's happening overseas, and as time is ticking by, and day after day, it seems like Moscow is advancing even more and more on Ukraine, this aid desperately needed overseas, right? How does he take that into account? And also getting this across the finish line quickly, in spite of the fact that it threatens his leadership. Yeah, it's one of those things where it's really easy to be uh, against Ukraine aid or be skeptical of it, like he was for a very long time. I and mean, he's someone who voted against it previously. Uh, it's really easy to do that when you're just a rank and file member of the House. Uh, when you're Speaker of the House, you realize not only through it's briefings you're getting or, yeah, you're, you understand that the weight of this conflict is in some ways on your shoulders. And that, that provides a whole new point of view. Um, so I imagine he realizes now at this point it's necessary and the right thing to do. And the politics are not good for him in his conference. I'll be very clear about that. It would be uh, very disruptive and divisive in, in the conference. Um, but at some point, you have a member uh, of your party who cannot be trusted to be a, a stable, good actor, and she's probably going to come after you at some point anyway. So my view is, do what you know the right thing to do is. Do the, make law. Send money to Ukraine if you know that's the right thing to do. And, and the politics will probably work out for you in the long run if that's the case. Now, if you, if you try to be too cute by this and you, you try to appease Marjorie Taylor Greene, and uh, you know, to hope that Democrats will stick around to, to back you. I, I think you're just asking for trouble. Democrats have saved the Republicans before, especially when it came to averting a government shutdown. Do you think they could do it again here? I think if the scenario is uh, he brings up Ukraine aid that they are asking him to do, and Marjorie Taylor Greene comes after him, yeah, I think they will be there for him, and I think that's the the choice he can make: make law and save your job, or spend the rest of your Congress hoping that Marjorie Taylor Greene doesn't come after you and have upset Democrats in the process where they're not going to be interested in saving you. They're going to treat you the same way they did Kevin McCarthy. Um, mm. So I, for all those reasons, I think it's a very obvious choice. Do what you know is right. Pass Ukraine aid. Save your job. And Marjorie Taylor Greene will be upset with you. And I think you can live with that. Brendan Buck, thank you. Appreciate it. Hey, everyone. MSNBC has a new and improved app. You'll get real-time alerts and analysis, live blogs, in-depth essays, video highlights, and the best 2024 election coverage. Download the new MSNBC app. Here's how to do it. You tap on the App Store on your phone. You hit search on the bottom right corner. You type in MSNBC. You click on the MSNBC app. You click on get or the cloud icon and enjoy it.